Hello, everyone. Today we are going to solve some Python exercises for beginners. Write a comment, please, with your suggestion about that format, and you can send some exercises you would like to solve. Let's get started. We are going to solve five tasks for today. The first named capital indexes. The second, middle letter. Next is online status. Next, type check. And the last is double letter. Capital indexes. Explanation. Write a function named capital underscore indexes. The function takes a single parameter, which is a string. Your function should return a list of all the indexes in the string that have capital letters. For example, calling capital underscore indexes with hello string should return the list with 0, 2 and 4 indexes. Let's solve it. Open Editor. The first way of solving. Write a function using enumerate method that returns list of index value tuples. If name equals main at the end, with the results printing inside. Run in terminal. The second way is function with all upper letters string. Again we use enumerate function and add indexes to the list. Run in terminal. The third way is using ASCII uppercase collection of letters from module string. and using list comprehension. Run in terminal. Next task called middle letter. Explanation. Write a function named mid that takes a string as its parameter. Your function should extract and return the middle letter, or the empty string if length of string is odd. For example, calling mid with a bc string, should return string b, and mid with for a string, should return empty. Let's see the solving. This approach we use double slash as integer division in Python.
if name equals main at the end, with the results printing inside. Run in terminal. Next task is online status. Explanation. The aim of this challenge is, given a dictionary of people's online status, to count the number of people who are online. For example, consider the following dictionary. In this case, the number of people online is 2. Write a function named online underscore count that takes one parameter. The parameter is a dictionary that maps from strings of names to the string online or offline, as seen above. Your function should return the number of people who are online. See the solution. The short solution, using list comprehension. Input dictionary with people. If name equals main at the end, with the results printing inside, Run in terminal. Long version, without comprehension. Simple way. Run in terminal. Next task is type check. Explanation. Write a function named only ints that takes two parameters. Your function should return true if both parameters are integers, and false otherwise. For example, calling only ints with 1 and 2, should return true, and only ints with string and 2, should return false, and only ints with 1 and boolean value, should return false. Let's see. The short solution using type built in Python function. If name equals main at the end, with the results printing inside.
run-in terminal. The lung solution. Using a Synstance built-in Python function. Run in terminal. And the last task called double letters. Explanation. The goal of this challenge is to analyze a string to check if it contains two of the same letter in a row. For example, the string hello has the letter L twice in a row, while the string no no does not have two identical letters in a row. Define a function named double letters that takes a single parameter. The parameter is a string. Your function must return true if there are two identical letters in a row in the string, and false otherwise. See the solutions. Native solution. Using for loop. If name equals main at the end, with the results printing inside. Run in terminal. Shorter solution Using list comprehension, zip and any functions Run in terminal. Longer solution with Walu.
run in terminal. Thank you for watching. Please give a like for support this channel. Write comments, share with friends, and subscribe to see new series. Be safe. Bye.